semen retention, and body gains. Coming back at you with another video. And in this video, I wanted to tell you and give you an example on how negativity kills you. It kills us, man. It rots us from the inside out. We start to get funguses and bacterias and stuff off of being around negative people, listening to negative things, and wearing negative clothing, especially these clothing. I know, I know. I know. Why does he keep talking about these clothing? I'm going to tell you why. Negativity, especially with these clothing, it can kill you, man. And it's been killing us, making us old without us even knowing it. But first, somebody was like, why is it so easy to worship Satan instead of worshiping the Most High? It's simple. Satan makes sense and the most high don't make sense. To the average person, Satan makes sense. It makes sense to eat. I mean, you got to survive, right? I mean, you got to live. We, we got to eat every day. We got to eat. It doesn't make sense to fast and not eat. I mean, we, is we getting paid for it? Huh? What's the reward for it, the, the, the not eating this Big Mac? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense to not eat pork. It makes sense to eat the bacon. The bacon tastes good. They sell it at McDonald's. It, it makes sense. It don't make sense to turn down all the beautiful women. It makes sense to sleep with the women, man. See, Satan make more sense than the most high to the majority of people. Satan say, it makes sense to hold on to every dollar to penny pinch that don't give nobody none because you might need it one day, man. It don't make no sense saying give 10% away. You hear what I'm saying? It don't make no sense to the majority of the people. This stuff in the Bible don't make sense to the majority of the people. In the worldly things, it makes sense to them. So that's why people follow Satan faster than they follow the Most High, because to them, Satan makes sense. It makes sense to sleep with as many women as, as you can. It makes sense to, why pay for it when I could just put it in my pocket? I mean, that really makes sense, right? To the majority of the world. You hear what I'm saying? The most high do not make sense to them. Now, back to this negativity, man. The negativity has been killing us, has been rotting us from the inside out. There's this thing that you have to. It's on YouTube. You have to look up the rice jar, the rice jar experiment, where they put they get two jars, identical, and two scoops of rice. Everything is the same. They put them in two different jars. One jar, they put all positive things on it. Love, health, prosperity, beautiful, pretty, joy. And on the other one, they put all negative things on it. Hate, envy, um, lust, decay, death. You hear me? And then for like about a week, they kept them jars closed. And then a week later, they came back and the one with all of the positive, that rice was still good. And the one with all the negative, that rice was starting to mold. Then they did another experiment the same way, the same with the rice in the jar, except for they didn't put words on it. They start speaking the words. So one jar, they spoke negative things. They said, I hate you. You stupid. You ugly. You stank. And then the other jar, they was like, I love you. You're beautiful. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you. 
and stuff like that. The one that they spoke the negative to, it started to decay. That is proof that negativity, negative words, all of this rap music and stuff, man, we like the rice. We're the rice and our body is the damn jar. You hear what I'm saying? And when we listen to this negative music, when we listen to people gossip, gossip is, is, is negative, man. So you putting all of this on your jar. When you, when you wearing clothes, that's like when they put the, put the pieces of tape and wrote things on. Just by having it wrote on the jar, it started to make the rice mold. And the opposite, if we surround ourselves with positivity, if we surround ourselves with, with uplifting, vibrating things, the music, the clothes, clothes being, being not having all those damn designs, these 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 dead people on our clothes, these words, even words like drip and stuff like that, th these designs and stuff like that, all these dead people, um, bones, anything bones, any little, little sigil type looking things, Ed Harding, back in the days they had Ed Harding, all that Ed Harding was like evil day of the dead type stuff, man. You hear what I'm saying? And you see what happens to the to the jar of rice when they put all of them negative things on the jar of rice. So what the hell you think going to happen to us? What's been happening to us? I mean, you got a cat that's out there that's wearing a Nipsey Hussle shirt. It's people out there that don't like Nipsey Hussle. Now, don't let the media fool you. Nipsey Hussle was loved by a lot of L.A., but he wasn't loved by all of L.A. I like the Nipsey Hussle personally, but I'm just real. I live in damn reality. It's a lot of people that wasn't mourning his damn death. And now you come in with a Nipsey Hussle shirt on and they might want to know where you're from, man. You see what I'm saying? That it, it, Things that we put on draw negative energy and it starts to decay us. People that we around, that's gossiping, that's always negative. Yes, even the person that comes and tell you all they damn problems, man. That's, that's, that's speaking negative to the rice jar. I don't give a damn what your damn girl did last night, man. It's the reason why therapists make a lot of money. It's the reason why they make a lot of money. I even heard that therapists, you know, go a little cuckoo. I don't know if that's true, but when I was younger, I heard that them people, psychiatrists, different people like that go a little cuckoo because they be around them people talking to them a lot, man. And I'm really thinking it, it, it rubbed off because they rice started the DK, letting them people speak all that negativity into they damn rice jar, man. If you understand what I'm saying, man, then use a blessed person. Wormwood, semen retention, and body gangs. Don't let them talk negative to you, man. Look, if you ain't got nothing nice to say about the person, then I don't want to hear it. Look, my girl, right, she work with people. She got girls at her job and stuff like that, and she cool with the girls at her job and stuff like that. But when the people... When she want to talk talk bad about the people at the job, I'll be like, nah, 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 don't talk bad about the people at the job because tomorrow you're going to be the people friend at the job. Tell me something good about the people at the job, man. We don't need to be talking about all this negative stuff. Don't be trying to put negativity inside of my damn rice jar, man. I ain't trying to decay. I'm not trying to. It's real. It's reality. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back at you with another video. Peace.